purpose. We're going to go ahead and click in the setup guide to pull up the vendors window. And the introduction says that a vendor is an individual or an organization that your business buys products or services from. In this section, you can enter as many of your vendors as you want. If you don't set up all your vendors now, you can always add more later. Would you like to enter vendors now? And of course, we're going to answer yes. Again, we've dealt with customers, we've dealt with jobs, now we're dealing with vendors. These are the people that we do business with. These are the people that make our business function because we're going to need to buy either raw materials or goods that we are going to purchase and sell to our customers. So, looking through this, we're going to click Next. And here in the vendors window of the setup guide, we have a list of all of the vendors that we have set up to this point. What we're going to do is select a vendor, in this case Caldwell Tools. We're going to pop up that vendor card and take a look at what a properly set up card is going to look like. Again, we have the vendor ID at the top. If you have a naming convention for your vendors, I would suggest that you put it right here. And I would also suggest that you go ahead and develop some sort of a naming convention that you can live by. In this particular case, you'll take note that they take in the name of the company and they've placed it in, in all cap letters so that it is easy to find in their system. The name of the company here, Caldwell Tools, once you input that, if you do not input a, you know, a vendor ID, Sage 50 will take that name that you place there and place it in the vendor ID uh, space you know, on your screen. We can easily you know, inactivate an existing client you know, or vendor right here by, click, by checking the inactivate button. That will remove that client from, oh, I'm sorry, that will remove that vendor from any lists, from any reports, and you won't have to deal with them again. And then once you purge your Sage 50 database, uh, that will compact it by removing all of these items that you have either purged in the use of a, of a, a database, you know, like you know, Sage 50 accounting. You know, you gather dead spots. You gather spaces where things have been corrected, things have been changed, and as you move along, that database is going to need to be purged. Making an account or a vendor, in this case, inactive, will make it eligible to be purged when you run the purge software. Now, let's take a look at the card here. The general card contains general information about this vendor. The contact in, the, in that uh, vendor organization is Carl Caldwell. Uh, we have an account number with that vendor, and there is our account number. Uh, the vendor, uh, you know, is an admin type vendor. Uh, we don't, you know, offer them a 1099. A 1099 is for an individual to whom you pay uh, $600, you know, within a calendar year. If you pay a vendor $600 or more, you have to, by federal law, give them a 1099. Sage software makes this easy. If this is the first time that you're making those settings happen, you can set up your 1099 right here. And here are our 1099 settings as part of our vendor defaults. These are, of course, our general ledger accounts that are attached to every one of the item descriptions that will go on the 1099 form. Um, you have your 1099 settings, you know, uh, where it goes. And from there, you are pretty well ready to tackle the world. Let's go ahead and OK there and let's take again another look. General information again. Your mailing address right here. And we can copy the remit to, to address one uh, so that uh, the same place that is their standard mailing address is the same place that your, uh, your payments will go. Okay, regular information here again, you know, telephone numbers, fax numbers, uh, email address, and their website. And the balance as of this, uh, this date you know, on our computer clock. The expense account associated with this particular vendor. And then we have our customizable fields. Down at the bottom, we have fields that indicate you know, the office manager and uh, the account rep, any special notes, and COD only, and offers delivery. You know, so 
let's take a look at the, our ability to customize these fields for our business.